shit, and 19 point four. Okay, that's yeah. it's probably because of dirt in there. Yeah, so let's let's scrape that out really quick here. Today's lab, we're going to be doing bulk density uh, sample collection, as well as soil uh, moisture or soil water content uh, analysis. I mean, it's a straightforward process, but it's important to remember righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay, now I should be deep enough. Just one time around. Yes. Well, the fellow award from the Society of American Foresters is its highest level of recognition for folks in the, in the forestry profession. Uh, it's a testament to a lifetime of service to the forestry profession and the Society of, of American Foresters in particular. And in fact, in, as an example of how high a level of achievement there is, Dr. Ficklin's only the third forestry professor in the history of the UAM forestry program to receive this honor. He would uh, promote uh, the profession among his students. Um, and Rob uh, did that through the society as well, at the society level, as well as at the division level, and even at the chapter level uh, there at the university. He uh, promoted the, the uh, profession among his students. I don't think, I, I know the most the greatest satisfaction I get is when I see a student that I had 15, 20 years ago um, out practicing forestry, uh, managing lands and things like that. It's, uh, and, uh, well, that's the future generation. Yes, he was. I mean, the students all, he wasn't an easy A, you know, he, he, but, but the, he was a, a taskmaster, but the students really liked him and they appreciated him and he was up front with them and he's very interested, you know, he didn't want anybody to get behind, so he, want, he knows the importance of soil and to our profession, but he, you know, he works with the students and, and supports them uh, any way that he can. Rob's been involved in a lot of research through the university and uh, especially in the, uh, the Loblolly Pine. And of course, his research that he has done, he has been, uh, of course, has simulated that through the, out to the professional folks, and uh, that's been very helpful to us out in the field. What? Huh? Almost. Almost. Uh, okay, that's probably good. So before you do that, yeah, excavate around it. He created a list of all foresters and then anytime uh, a continuing education class came up or any, anything that was of interest to foresters, we passed that to Rob and he, get, he shot it out to all the foresters in Arkansas and in Oklahoma too. Because we um, it is a, an award that uh, your peers nominate you for. Um, I'm humbled and honored by that. Uh, my nominators were uh, from across the state. Uh, the uh, recognition uh, goes through several layers of uh, approvals and reviews, um, and uh, it's um, you know, one of the highest recognitions that SAF uh, Let's has. Let's say I pulled this out and put it in the can. All this I would be doing over the tray. So if it falls in the tray, it ends up in the can. Uh, that would have been through probably the first exposure, Mr. Cowan in sixth grade, my science teacher. Uh, he taught more than just science, but um, his uh, main focus for our science component of sixth grade was putting together this nature study six, as he called it, because it was sixth grade. And so we had guest speakers, uh, we went on field trips, uh, we had to write letters to various uh, organizations, uh, Department of Interior, of course, Forest Service. The student chapter, when he came, was there, there were just four or five members, and so he, he took that up and, and really built that program up. Uh, again, there was more emphasis before he came on the forestry club and less on SAF. And, and when he came, he really supported the SAF and has really got a lot of interest from students. Part of his legacy would, uh, you set through his legacy uh, in that a lot of the students that left, uh, graduated from the university uh, now take leadership positions. Dr. Ficklin won this because of his total amount of output, which includes his teaching excellence, his research, and his commitment to the Society of American Foresters, volunteering of his time. 